I'll fix it here. Like my halo. <laughs> I like it. This is a cool light. I mean, there's all different brands. I'm, uh, I'm already replacing some of these old boob lights. Do they call them, I guess? I don't know. So let's get some nice new lighting. I got two in up here. I, I need one in the shower now. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, what we need is, well, we're putting in a new shower here, and it's kind of dark in there. We need a light. Let's put another light in. I mark my, uh, spot. I draw a circle, and, uh, you're going to need just a couple things. I like to, to double check when my electricity is off, if it's really off. Now, you don't have to have one of these. You can just use something like this. Uh, if you got sheetrock or whatever you got and uh, when you buy one of these they never come seems like with the little nut pick up one of those at the same time you pick up one of these I got this at Lowe's because Lowe's happens to be the closest to me I saw these at Home Depot today also they're they're about 30 bucks well the first thing you want to do or what I'm gonna do is mark the spot that I, where I want it then you do need to determine uh, where your studs are and if you're going to be cutting into some wires or something. So you need a stud finder or knock on the ceiling, uh, whatever method you use to find out where your studs are. And you want to go in between those studs. You don't want to be close to the studs. This is a manufactured home, mobile home, and that there is a space in between each of these things. So I'll be safe. And that's about in the middle of the shower, so it's perfect. Good luck here. Let's open this baby up. Okay. There's a bracket thing here and some instructions here. Okay. So if you want just a warm feeling light, uh, you go down to 2700. And you work your way all the way up to the, to the brightest, uh, hottest light is 5,000 so I put it somewhere in the middle uh, 3,500 is, is, is good all right so now if you notice they, they, they give you an instructions uh, template see here's the uh, template that they give you so that's what I did I stuck this in the center I adjusted this to where that it goes out there and marks on the head and there you go you got the this is ready to go so now you don't need instructions. Here we go, round and round we go. It's gonna be just right. We know. Because we always do things just right. Okay, so now I'm gonna drill a hole in that thing. I love this Ryobi drill, it's cool. So we just need to drill a hole somewhere so we can get a saw started. Something you like this if you want to. And then, so you can take this, and you can go up and down like that. Or, I got a little saber saw that I like. I'm going to use this uh, little jigsaw thing. I think I'll try a little, a little PPE, personal protection equipment. So, make it a little better. Let's see. What I gotta do is take a, you know, from this light here, I'm gonna run a wire up inside the ceiling over to this hole. So, go get some wire. All these lights have a 14 to ground, meaning it's a black wire, white wire with a ground wire, and it's a 14 gauge. I'm gonna take this light out because we're gonna run a wire from here over there. And these are not hard to get out. Pull them down, there's just a little spring holding them. Alright. What do we 
got plenty of wire there. Now we just got to get it through there. Let's see if I can poke it through because it's not very far. Last time though, what I had to do was take a long piece of steel rod and tape this to the end of it. And then I poked the whole steel rod through until I could see it coming out this end. Then I took this down and undid the tape, pulled the steel rod out, and there I was. Yeah, I got it. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> All right. You don't want to do like you do in a regular outlet, go back at least six inches and make a big long. You don't want to do that with these. I'm telling you right now, there's not enough room in these little boxes that that wire has to go in. And the wire needs to be only long enough See, to go into that box to the end of the box. Oh, you see that? Yeah. So you only want about that much split down there. Okay. Put that back. There's the paper stuff. And then another trick that I want to tell you about is how far to take the insulation down on these wires because those wires are going to be plugging in to this so what you want to do is cut just enough to be about the right length of this plastic thing and a little shorter and then you plug it in nice okay this thing here right here says uh, number 14 right over here and you can Take that off, just like that, and this one too. There we go. Okay, inside the box with the light, <clears throat> you'll see these tiny little screws. And you get this bracket. So this bracket attaches. Here, I'll show you one. Well, you see, the bracket attaches like so. Attach this to screws on one of those 2x4s or 2x6s or whatever you have in your ceiling or like me I just shove it over there and leave it there oh, okay so I attached my bracket I guess I wouldn't have to attach the bracket <clears throat> but first we need to knock out one of these end pieces and put that little clamp thing to run the cable through let's wiggle that thing around and until it wiggles out of there <clears throat> And then I'm going to put one of these things in there, see, right here. So we run the wire, put, or put, stick this in the box, first of all. This part goes in here. And then this little ring, screw it on there, on the inside. Plug it just a little bit, no big deal. Good deal. Okay, so now I'm going to put all these wires inside of there. Now you want to go far enough that this clamp is clamping the outside insulation. So it's so now I'm going to plug the ground in. Now take that ground and get it down inside of there out of the way. Okay, now we'll plug another one in. Let's try this white one right here. Plug it in. Whoops, now let me check the length. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. Okay. See, when you plug it in, you don't want any copper sticking out back here. And it goes all the way in here. It's just right. So now I can bury that thing down inside of there if you want. Okay, now let's plug the black one in. And it's just right also. Okay, squish all these down inside here. Snap the cover shut. And stick it up here in the ceiling. Okay. Now we're going to attach this light. 
Okay, now we're going to install this light. Watch how easy this is. I like to install the spring that's no close to the wire first. I just pull, pull this up, hook it in, and then the other spring you got to bend it up high, stick it up in there, and voila, there you go. That light's in, but it's not connected to this light yet. When you work on a light, you turn the light switch off and the light goes out and you think, okay, there's no power. Uh-uh, sometimes there's power up there, even with that light switch off, maybe to another wire that's, you know, that's hooked into the system. So be extra careful and throw the breaker. Don't make, take any chances. Uh, whatever you need to do, do it to be safe. All right, don't be like me. Knock yourself out. Yeah, let's see. All right, now we put this little doohickey in here, inside the box. Now we're going to poke these wires in here. Make sure it's far enough in that this thing is gripping that outside insulation. to the white one. White one goes there. Okay. There. Pour all the spaghetti back up in the ceiling. Got the wires and stuff out of the way. Now we plug this back in. Now, ah, twang this up, hook it in, twang this up, and stick it in. And there it is. Ta-da! We have the new lights. Okay. Our shower has a light. Just like that. I'll fix it here and we did it. We got another one fixed up and we uh, we lit the place up. So if you like it, hit the like button, you know, subscribe and all that stuff. Also, I'll put a link in here for some of the tools that I use and stuff like that that you could get on Amazon and you could, if you go there by my link that I give you, uh, I, get, I get paid. You go there through my link and then you decide to buy uh, curtains or who knows what, you know, uh, whatever you want. I get a little action, a little piece of that. So, hey, do it. Subscribe, likes up, uh, go to my link, whatever. Thanks. See ya. Bye. Ciao.